Hello. Jerry, Jerry Riggs, your window and door guy here with another wonderful tutorial. Today we're adjusting some casement windows. These in particular are Windsor casement windows. Windsor has a company in Des Moines, Iowa and one in Monroe, North Carolina. But these adjustments is pretty typical and pretty standard on most casement windows. But you'll need a specialty tool, which is this casement adjustment wrench. Your manufacturer should be able to supply this for you. And if you look closely, it does have some instructions written on them. Never noticed that till just now, but that's cool. This is a casement window. The makes it a casement window is that it opens out. It hinges on one side versus a double hung will raise up and down. It has a locking arm on this side, down to engage the lock, up to disengage. This here is a manufacturer sent temporary construction crank. You can crank your window out with this. If you're lucky enough to have some of the finished hardware, you can take that construction one off, put this one on, and get a lot faster crank out. If you have to adjust a bunch like I do in this house, open them up the easiest way possible is beneficial. Fun fact. Here's another way and a pro tip. I don't recommend it, and if you tell anyone I told you this, I'll deny it. But you can tighten your chuck on this deal as well. Open that thing like a D-range robot. Also put one of these finish lock drive covers on as well. It just makes it easier. I'm all about easy. Anyway, you unlock the window, use your crank, crank the window out. Pull it back in. If you feel this corner dragging a little bit, you take your tool, crank your window open as far as you can get her. We're almost anyway. And what you're looking for is this nub on the frame. So once you get your window cranked open, what you're looking for is down here. See that piece right there? You take your casement wrench. These ends are different sizes. This one on this side that's got the angled head is usually the one you want. And what you do, you come down here and grip it like so. And if you move this, watch for this to pivot. See how that moves? Well, if you go this way and you move this deal toward this side, it'll lift this bottom corner of the sash up. If that's not enough to get you, you can repeat the process up top, except you want to go the opposite way. You want to move that one that way, which will in turn scoot that corner this way, which will also bring this side up. pretty lucky with that one move your deal move your deal on to the next pretty commonly why some of these windows won't close if you look on the bottom here there's a piece that the manufacturer puts on the bottom of the sash to keep the sash square during shipping that'll definitely keep you from closing just put a screwdriver in it down remove it got a big red flag it says remove me don't say that but should to get a better understanding what you're trying to do with this wrench I don't recommend it but I'm gonna pop this off this deal like this so you can get a better look at this and it's got two flat sides to it and that's what you're trying to hook. You're trying to get your wrench around those two flat sides. But your piece here will be on top of it, so you will not really see when it it's engaged on there tight, but you'll feel it. But that's what you're doing, actually, with the uh, underneath that dip. That's what's going on. 
So you want to hook on there and then crank. So between making sure that you don't have a wedge, construction wedge or anything restricting you here, and you have removed that block from the bottom corner, pull the window to, you made your adjustment down low and high. Crank her in, see how you did. Locks work pretty smooth. The longer you keep these things shut and locked in this unclimate controlled environment, it's the best. I mean, once again, Jerry Riggs, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Did I mention fat? Yeah, I'm fat too. And it's summer in an attic and fat.